Guys, how good was Jimmy Jacobs this past week on Impact Wrestling in this segment with Jimmy, with, um, I'm sorry, not Jimmy, of course, Grandma Jenny and Congo Kong and Joseph Park. I liked what he did last week when Congo Kong destroyed the office. And, um, you know, even the little promos he's been doing, looking for, for Abyss. And I love this whole, you know, Congo Kong's the new monster. When he, when he, um, came out as Congo Kong's manager last month and had said the new monster, like it actually didn't click with me, you know, that there's the monster abyss. I didn't really know what he meant by the new, mo new monster. So that one went right over my head, but this is a feud with abyss that, um, I don't think people would have had, a, have had interest in a year ago. And abyss's last match was in Grado with Grado at bound for glory. And no one really, I, I think we all appreciate Abyss as a TNA original, but, you know, Abyss has kind of, it, it, it's, it's kind of hit a, hit, hit a, um, a very stale point to where you can't just bring him in as this monster anymore. Like that actually felt like that match with Grado that he had, that Grado got in so much offense in that I don't think you can book Abyss going forward as some, you know, monster to come out and you know wreak havoc and everything I, I just think that that time is done and they're finding a lot of longevity in the joseph park character and they're finding storylines for him and it's working but with jimmy jacobs what he's doing he's on fire this guy is gold i mean what he has done for this is very similar to what i think you know dan lambert did for the american top team thing Really, at the end of the day, what was the whole American Top Team thing about? <laughs> but but we started enjoying it because Dan Lambert was so good. That's what I'm getting out of Jimmy Jacobs. Like with this segment with Grandma Jenny, he's out there and just he's so believable. I mean, he can cut a promo, he can act. You know, the facial expressions, playing to the crowd. I mean, he does it all, and it makes Congo Kong like really matter. So I was really impressed with Kong on the. Uh, Global Force Wrestling Amped Anthology in the first episode. He had a manager. And I felt like Congo Kong that episode felt like a... He, he really felt like a main eventer. He, he, he came across very strong, very intimidating. And I really think the manager played a huge role in that. And I, I mean, I guess I kind of liked the stuff he was doing with Laurel. But Laurel was such a comedy character at the time that I think it was very hurtful to Congo Kong on screen. And I wasn't even sure Congo Kong was going to come back when the new regime change happened, but he's here and he's with Jimmy Jacobs, a longtime friend. And I think they're perfect together. And I think it shows that Jimmy Jacobs, whether he's backstage or on screen has a lot to offer impact wrestling. And I think people can really learn from this guy. And given the, on the media call, he sounds very happy to be with the company. They're treating him good. And they're allowing him to really exercise his creative freedom. So I really think this is this is that guy that, you know, we talk about, well, Jeremy Borash, like, what are they going to do with Jeremy Borash? Jeremy Borash is still replaceable at the end of the day, especially when you've got a guy like this around. This kind, this kind of creative mind, I think, um, can show us some things and impact that no one's ever seen before. So I want to see what this guy really brings to the table this year. But what he's doing with this feud... It's gold. He's making me care. I really want to see this match now. So I want to know what you guys think. Is, is Jimmy Jacobs making you care about this? Do you see something special in Jimmy Jacobs? He did color commentary last month, and he did such a good job at it. He's a great character. I I am all in on Jimmy Jacobs. I want to know what your thoughts about Jimmy are in the comments. If you're a first-timer here, please hit subscribe at the Impact Lounge. Talk in Impact Wrestling as much as humanly possible. That's no lie. Thanks for listening. Thanks for swinging by. And I'll talk to you soon, folks. Peace.